Could you talk a little bit about how other engineering fields have influenced your approach to thinking about machine learning or you know, whether that's an accurate assumption on my end <laughs> and maybe even what control theory kind of is related, how that relates to model performance management? Yeah, well, kind of control theory really, like for example, if you're, if you're driving a car, control theory says, well, one, one, one aspect is you're just measuring the speed of the car, right? But control theory really, really means that you not just measure it, but you can influence it. So you can actually keep it at, uh, you've, you've got sensors that not just tell you what it's doing, but you can control the speed based on the input. So if, if your desired speed is, let's say 25 miles an hour, the sensor tells you 27, now you can control the sensor and say, come down to 25, right? So, so in case of, in case of models, that means that let's say, for example, you're, you're not really going for highest accuracy in your model, but you're trying to ensure that the model has a certain acceptable level of bias um, across predicted attributes. And so when you train it and it's at that, at, that, at that acceptable level of bias and when you deploy it, as the data shifts in real time, that bias uh, like the threshold might be breached. So that's where control theory comes in. Like you, first having visibility that that is being breached and feeding whatever that new data representation is back into your training set. So you can create a new representation of that model that meets that new threshold, the new reality that you're seeing in like, that you're seeing within production. So it, 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 it is a, an extension of kind of control theory, given that, um, you first have to have visibility into how a thing behaves. Like a whole lot of teams don't even know how their models are behaving when they deploy, right? So that's like number one, not having any operational insights. And once you have operational insights, how do you ensure that it's maintaining your desired metrics, right? And that is where the control theory comes in.